I'm Siobhan O'Loughlin and welcome to my first ever Cyber Pop video. This is a new series where I, a person who is not great at pop culture, but is still a pretty smart and thoughtful person, engage with popular things with sincerity. I sincerely watched Ahsoka and finished it last night. Please understand that I did not watch Rebels before I watched Ahsoka. So I have kind of already messed up. But I did watch Andor and The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, which I think basically has nothing to do with this show. I mean, I think. So here's my five things. First of all, let's celebrate the costumes. Not only is the design gorgeous, there is no unnecessary display of TNA to be found anywhere in this show. This is a woman forward show where women and femmes are wearing clothes that in fact happen to be conducive to combat. Though their bodies are not actively on display, these women and femmes are in fact still beautiful. I'm looking forward to seeing fat actors in these shows someday, but you know, I um, I ask for too much. Second thing, I'm confused. Why did Sabine go find Ezra again? Are they in love? Will my questions be answered if I watch Rebels? I was expecting him to be the most incredible Jedi. I was thinking he would be an excellent opponent to Thrawn. He was not. If we're in love with him, is there any reason besides the fact that he's hot? He's not charming. He's not an amazing Jedi. He's not particularly charismatic. He's not mysterious. I just, I don't get it. Number three, Rosario Dawson. She's just a wonderful actor, isn't she? I love watching her in basically anything. It's nice to see her play this toned down character with lots of darkness, who is also full of so much goodness. Rosario is a huge draw to watch the show. Obviously. Thing number four, can someone please explain to me how Ezra escaped on that little jet? Like, wouldn't the suit have tracking and the jet have tracking? And if he disabled it, allegedly, wouldn't they still notice that the jet is missing? I mean, fascist leaders are nothing if not vigilant. How the heck did that happen? Number five, this show is about a lot of people and not so much Ahsoka, right? Like, I think people say the word Ezra more than the word Ahsoka. This is something I'm noticing very low key. Anyway, those witches are really, really great and seem rather Dune inspired. And I hope we get more of them as well as more zombies in the next season, which I will be watching after I watch some Rebels. Thank you. And let me know what you are up to in the world of pop.